Hey guys, hope you're all doing okay. So today I want to talk to you about the lightest, smallest and tiniest Linux distro there is. I'm talking about damn small Linux or DSL. It's only 50 megabytes in size in ISO form and it can run entirely on RAM. So if you have 128 megabytes of RAM, it can run entirely on that RAM. You don't even need a hard disk drive. So to get started, Let's go to their URL, demsmalllinux.org. And here you can see this is their um, very old <laughs> website. And if you want to download that, you can just go here to download. And you can download it via this FTP link. I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it again. So I'm just going to close that. And we're going to see what it looks like. So I've just opened up VMware workstation and I'm going to create a new virtual machine for my Linux distro. So select custom and select next <clears throat> and select next again. Installer disk image, uh, it's here. So it, it couldn't detect what kind of operating system we wanted to install. So we need to specify it later because with Linux VMware automatically detects uh, detects what kind of operating system it wants to install. So whether it's Ubuntu or Kali um, or any other uh, famous Linux distro. So it can already, it can detect what kind of distro we want to install and it can, it can install it using the easy install mode. So I'm just going to select um, other Linux 5.x or later kernel. Select next, next. Number of processors, one, yeah, because it's the lightest there is, so we don't even know. And I'm just going to get 128 megabytes of RAM. And you can use this LSI logic as well as CSI. Create a new virtual hard disk. And let's give it 512 megabytes, or let's say one gigabyte. Store as a single file, next, and finish so it's gonna launch it any moment now let's, let's go full screen hmm. so if you want specific boot options you can press f2 or f3 and it's gonna give you all bunch of options like different screen resolutions or different flags or different modes so I'm not gonna do any of that I'm just gonna press enter Okay, so now it's launching. See the cute little penguin right there? <laughs> Shouldn't take too long. Yep, almost there. Okay, here we are. So this is our getting started with DSL page and it tells you everything that you need to know about this. It's pretty handy. So let's close that and take a look at the UI. So we've got a bunch of apps, A Terminal, Beaver, um, Dillo, My DSL, Ted, and the most important of them, of course, is Terminal. So as we can see, it's a colored UI. It's not like MS-DOS or anything. Well, technically MS-DOS is the lightest operating system. It can fit on a 1.44 megabytes of floppy drive, but it doesn't have this aesthetic um, UI. So our processes are 19, our CPU usage is 11%, and RAM usage is only 20.9 megabytes of 124 megabytes. <laughs> um, running it on virtual machine, I ran into an issue where the mouse doesn't work. Even plugging a USB mouse didn't help, and I think it's just on virtual machine. I tried it on my other PC, it's a really old PC and, and I'm, I might actually make a video about that later at, at some point and, and it worked fantastically but on virtual machine it just it doesn't seem to work. 
Um, if you run into that issue, just press Control, Alt, and Backspace. So it's going to take you right here to our terminal. And let's type x set up dot h. Now we're just going to use x vesa. If you have an old computer, use x f b d e v. USB mouse, yes. And you can select anything like USA or any other keyboard layout. Ours is USA. And after you're done um, setting that up, just exit um, start X. Now it should be good to go. So there we have it, guys. This is the lightest Linux distro out there. And if you have really old computer, you can revive it using this distro. Um, I was actually surprised how compatible and how efficient and how fast it is. It's like extremely impressive. And with only 50 megabytes, that that's, um, that's insane. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys later.